Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome to Hook and Stitch and Island Style. I'm Antoinette, your hostess, coming to you from Deer Island, New Brunswick, Canada, located in the Bay of Fundy. If it's your first time here, I think you might want to join the family. Click subscribe, bell, all, and hopefully you'll get notified when YouTube, I upload a video, post on the community tab, or go live as I am today. This is a pop-up live. I want to welcome returning Fiber Family members, new Fiber Family members. If you're watching the replay, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, share, whatever your choice is. Um, don't know if anybody's here yet. I uh, thought I'd do a pop-up today because I am in the process of, I, I got stitch markers going over here. I've got, I have OB locked. So it doesn't pan because somebody said they were getting seasick watching it pan. So right now I just have it locked. Um, I am trying to bag up stuff for the birthday celebration, which is the 28th. I haven't set the time yet. I'm going to have a little meeting with a couple of people that are helping me with it and see what we can do for the best time frame. Let me know if my audio is okay because the mic has been relocated to over here. Um, craft room was reset up because of the new computer the tutorial area i had uploaded a tutorial today i don't know what happened but the section there was a there was a whole the whole section of the tutorial itself um the videos for some reason the clips didn't upload so i've got to go back and see what happened there and i will re-upload it and put it up later tonight um i also have the stuff sitting there welcome in steve okay thank you thank you welcome um, I have to redo the broomstick cow, uh, tutorial because the first one was blurry. I'm um, using the new, uh, Sony CX405 and it seems to be doing a pretty good job on the clarity on the video. Welcome in little sis. Welcome in. I, I'm going to let OB, uh, pan for a second so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get ahead of the game. Uh, this here. Tap to unlock. Okay. So. Obi should okay. Obi should follow, should follow me, and if you uh, if I go over here, I'm just gonna get up for a minute. Obi's gonna pan and over here, and then I scoot down. Oh, can't see me. Mike's in the way. Welcome in this over here. This is all covered with yarn for the yarn mystery bags. Um, over here. I've got some stitch markers as I started making up the prize bags. Let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock this so nobody gets seasick on me. Um, I started making up, welcome in Maritza, welcome in Suzanne. Um, I'm making up the bags for the prizes for the birthday celebration. And how I'm gonna be doing it is I'm making up the bags. Like this is this here is a, a sock knitting. There is a pattern, one of Rita from Designs. Um, Linus Designs that she made. There's yarn, there's a set of 40 inch for Magic Loop. There is point protectors in here. Um, and there'll be some stitch mark. I'm making a set of knitting stitch markers that are small for socks to put in here. And I've got a couple of these done up here. These are the bags that everything's going to be shipping in. But I always double bag everything. These are my new shipping bags. I'm trying, you know, I got new stickers and new cards, just trying to be a little bit, make a nicer presentation. Like this bag here. And here there is knitting needles, barber cords, and I'll be showing more of these because I had a bunch of orders come in that I was expecting. These are shaw pins. If you look up onto uh, Manelli, she has one of the shaw pins on holding the shaw. <clears throat> there are point protectors in here. And one of these I had showed in the video, little sis sent these to me. She donated a bunch of stuff for the birthday celebration. And when you're knitting, and if you're like me, you push with your finger and it 
makes your finger sore or it puts holes. It, like if you have high, high of sharps, which is what I have, high, high of flyers are very sharp. I've put holes in my fingers and have drawn blood. So this this will go into some of my knitting. So that's just like one one kit. And like I said, I double bag it. I save all my Timu bags and everybody saves them for me. I double bag everything because it will ship in my signature color teals. Notion colors. Um Christine from Christina's Crocheting did send, resend the pictures that I couldn't find for the yarn she's donating for the birthday celebration. But <clears throat> so I'm doing bags like this. Everything's gonna be in this tote down here. They're each gonna have a sticky note on it. So you're not gonna know what's in the bag. I will have a K for if it's a knitting bag or a C for a crochet bag. Because um, like knitting needles, I I gotta put one back in here. There's uh, crochet hooks. There is, oops. There is going to be. These will be wrapped in plastic bubble wrap. There is going to be some omi hooks. More needles. There are cord smiths they're going to be giving away. These are the things for making eye cords. And just because you don't knit, you can use these to make your own jumbo yarn and make a basket, a rug out of it. There are tutorials on Instagram. Whoever wins this, if they have a question, they can email me or message me, and I will tell them where to go to see. Because I have to do a demonstration on how to use these. But I had ordered a few of them for giftaways for the birthday bash and the potiversary. More crochet hooks. DPN, two sets of DPNs. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in, that's, that's going to be going into these gift bags. Besides this yarn. Um, <clears throat> I got some new. These just came. I've been waiting for these. There will be a set, limited amount of these sets of nautical stitch markers. Along with the lighthouse and the anchors and stuff that I have. But I found these to make stitch markers with. So... I have my stitch marker stuff out here. I'm going to try to work on that too as I'm bagging up these gift bags because I got the yarn and then I've got to get a box because the big $200 um, box of yarn has to go into a box because there's just too much yarn to put into um, into a bag. My, my, my big bags, this is the size of my big bag. They're like that big and I can't get quite a bit of yarn in these so that's and then there'll also be like smaller packs there'll be more prize packs because they're going to be small in here I have these blacks these are padded and I want to show you some of the things I got for prizes and it won't just be one thing, but it'll be a few things if it's a smaller prize pack. Um, I showed you because I showed you the point protectors that Little Sis donated. And then I got a bunch of different shop pins. And then I have these. Walls be going in. These are also sweater, shaw pins, cowls. Like this one here, clips. These are all vintage. They're vintage. One there. These here can be attached. It's two pieces. Can be attached where they latch for a shawl or a cowl or a sweater. So stuff like this. So there'll be like a lot of notions and stuff like that in it. Then I got, this is jewelry. Just some of the stuff. Like this set here. This is a necklace and earrings. Then I got some very, very much my signature. Nautical bracelets. 
which are great in the summertime. I got some of those. Then there's this one here, which has got three things on it. It's got the anchor, the compass, and the infinity knot. Oh, there's all kinds of things in here. Dragons. So like somebody might get a, a little one of the little black bags, and then it'll be maybe a necklace, a pair of earrings, or bracelets, some stitch markers, you know. And then I went a little crazy on these. There's keychains. I have all different kinds of keychains. So you might get a keychain in it. Then I got some brooches, which can, all, which can also be used for shawl pins, cowls, shawlettes, like this swan. I've got, and I, I love these. I have cameos. These are all vintage. Owl. Vintage cameo. A, a Rhode Island red. Owls. Here's another cameo. Hat. So I got all kinds of stuff like that in here. So that's the kind of stuff that's going to be, you know, in these bags. So I'm trying to get everything done because it is the 28th. I haven't addressed the time yet because I want to get with Sis. Knows helping me with this thing, this birthday celebration. And um, I, I, I uh, to decide on the time. Are we going to do six straight hours, or are we going to split it into two? You know, three hours, then off a couple hours, then back for another three. I'm um, trying to organize the games, and the reason I talked about splitting it is because there are people that live on the other side of the pond in different time zones, literally twelve hours ahead of us or twelve hours behind us. So, because I want to try to be fair, everybody, and I will have replay prizes also and and i made a mess oh i gotta get something to clean that up with <sighs> drip my coffee welcome in christine welcome in um my craft room is looking better love my new computer um i will tell you processing videos is quick um just getting into the computer is quick uh, it's still working with the programs and everything, but it isn't. It was recommended to me by Sis's husband, Dean. Um, and I talked to my IT guy, and he said, when I showed him the computer and the, and the components and stuff, he said, good computer. So it is a Dell. It's called an Alienware, R Alienware Aurora R16. It was just released this January. But anyways, I'm enjoying it. Still putting programs in. Still working issues out with the new camcorder. It records beautifully. My problem, I have an SD card reader coming, which will make it easier. So right now I'm trying to transfer from the camcorder over into the computer and then into the editing program. And that's what happened to the video. I just I just went and made it unlisted until I um, fix it, find out what's going on. Um I showed yesterday I only had one finished object. I've been working on, I did my tutorial. I had a, the herring, it was a herringbone stitch dishcloth tutorial that I put up. And that's the one that didn't. Um, uh, the opening part where I'm talking to you like this is there. But the part that I recorded over on the video, my video table, um, for some reason, when it uploaded, it didn't, the videos were gone. It just showed a big screen with a big circle and it exclamation point on it so i've got to find out what's going on there because i do need to to do the tutorial redo it for the um broomstick cow and get that up for the lattice work and um for connecting the panels so it's up and ready to go by next wednesday um so that's what i've been doing besides uh we sold the store trying to clean it out and then um working around the house i was outside yesterday for a little bit because it was, it was actually a nice day Raking up the front there where all the the windstorms we had over the winter had blown up all the mulch and the weed barrier was sticking up all over the place and it was making me a little on the insane side. So I went and I raked everything down and made it look a little bit more presentable. Fixed the sign on the garbage box that says the Calders. 
I had to throw that in. Unloaded some stuff downstairs into the uh, basement, which is a finished basement, but right now it's just full of stuff. Um, brought down my rug scrubber to clean the furniture and the two Oriental rugs that are going to be down there. So yeah, and I did some some taxes for people. I, I'm still getting stragglers here and there. Um, yeah, so that's that's what. Uh, besides, you guys all know last week I was in St. John co-teaching and getting my ticket. I've got to co-teach another class, and if I feel I'm ready, they will do my monitoring class, and I will be. They'll sign off on my certification, so I'll be fully certified, and then I can get paid. <laughs> so I'm not. It cost me a lot of money to travel back and forth to St. John. Hotels are expensive in, in Canada. Just the gas, even with my, my little car, beep beep. The gas is expensive, buck eighty, buck ninety a liter. So that's what it is. So you see my my parents, um, it's a little crazy. Um, oh yeah, you can see my mic, it's over here. It used to be over there. Now it's over here. But I did find out that I can actually put it up there, not to, to where it's not in my face. And I have a two camera setup i do have two cameras from two different angles one will come in actually from the side here i'll just show you real quick because i'm going to go back to this camera so hold on a minute i just want to show you i'm working on being able to to do this um do, 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 do settings okay camera and there's the other angle so i've got two angles i don't have the lighting up on here but so it has two angles so I'm working on it, trying to up my game. <laughs> okay, there we are. I'm back. Welcome in, Michi. Welcome in. Oh, thank you, Michi. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you. So I am trying to make it a little bit more interesting, um, you know, when I'm doing a live uh, on StreamYard in order to use Michi, I'll tell you what I bought, dear. I've got webcams. Um, I've Sis bought me an Elgato face cam last year, and I bought an Obspot tiny cam. And as opposed to buying a uh, DSLR, the quality of the video they put out now, um, you can even go with camcorders. I bought a camcorder for doing my tutorials, and it is. A, and I watched a lot of reviews. Read. I mean, I research everything. Um, and Marcus Picks is my go-to guy for anything that has to do with tech for cameras, mics, lighting. Okay, Michi, have a good night. Bye-bye. Um, but anyways, I have a Sony CX405. It is a, I did an unboxing on it. It's, it's, it, it does, it does all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it does all kinds of stuff. And like Marcus says. Video recorders were made for recording. They can run all day and not get hot, whereas these, um, where these uh, cameras, the DSLRs, net they they get hot, especially if you're recording outside. No worries, no worries. I'm here. You're here. No worries, sis. No worries. Life goes on. This was not scheduled. This was not planned. I was sitting here working on, you know, the bags, putting stuff. I'm surrounded on the tables by stuff. And I thought, oh, what the heck, let's do a pop-up live because I haven't done one. So I'll do a pop-up live. And uh, I'll actually be putting, you know, shortly I will be op opening up the uh, panel if somebody wants to come up. Um, only thing I ask is thummies. You know, do your thummies. Um, up or down, doesn't matter. You know, if you don't like it, hey, that's good. It's not everybody's cup of tea. We all know that I am can be a rambling nutter. We all know that I am a train wreck at times, but this is me. <laughs> what you see is what you get. If anything, you get transparency on my channel. That's one thing. Um, you get transparency because I don't know any other way to be. I don't know when. Hey, stop it, Obi. I don't want you moving. I have you. I had you locked. I want to make sure. I want to make sure Obi's still locked. Okay. I just want to make sure he's locked. Tap to unlock, tap to lock. Okay. He's locked. Should be locked. I just gotta be, I gotta be careful of my hand gestures when I put my hands up. Because of if you guys remember, you make an L with your finger with my my hand, and he zooms in, make an L again, he zooms out. 
I can see the little blue light flash. It means it's 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 looking for the hand motions uh, for whether it's going to pan, tilt, all that stuff. Or you know, yeah. So I don't want to get anybody seasick with me moving around. Even with me rocking in my chair, it moves. But it's great. It's like I'm working in the craft room and I want to and I'm recording it. It's like an ASMR, but um, you know, ASMR video. Um, it'll move with me, or I can literally take that um, and record on that. I think I gotta read the book again, but I think I can record on that and then upload it to the computer. I don't know. We'll see. Just more tech stuff. I'm not a tech guru, but I learn by doing. So while I have you here, I'm going to show you the yarn, Christine. And thank you, Christine, because I can be such a, a dit sometimes. Um. Christine sent me pictures of the pic uh, yarn she is donating for the birthday celebration. So I'm going to get it, and I'm going to show you. Okay, the first one is some Barocco Comfort. There's four, four skeins of the Barocco Comfort. And then um, she's also donating some Barocco Vivo. Three got uh, three cakes of that. That's hard. There we go. That's better. Hey, stay still. Stop. Oh. But it's Vivo, Barocco Vivo. Really pretty colors. And I'm very appreciative. Thank you very much, Christine. Suzanne has donated, was do had, is donating also, and it was uh, crochet hooks or knitting needles. Um, I'll get with her um, and uh, we'll, we'll go over that. But there's going to be a lot of nice gifts. Again, we're going to have the central knitting machine, there's some craft kits. And then, of course, the gift bags, which are going to be notions, maybe a, a project bag, you know. Uh, okay, Suzanne, I don't know what you, <laughs> what you mean. Um, I, may, I missed something. Did I miss something in the, in the chat? But, um, you know, and I'm getting excited about it. Um, and again, celebrating on mom's birthday. Oh, exact. Oh, yeah. Obi. Obi can, again, I, I'm still working with, because when I got the new computer, stop. Do as you're told. Stop. <laughs> stop in the name of, stop in the name of sanity. Anyways, um, is it moving? Oh, yeah, it's still moving. I'll try not to move too much. Um, so that's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, Mom and I celebrated our birthdays every year together. Uh, this is true, Suzanne. They're outside the door and the door is shut because they could be two hellions. Barb and I, oh, <laughs> there are days. They jump all over us, and yeah, black and blue, yeah. Boy, I'm just having a heck of a time today. Um, also, some of the yarn that will be in some of these bags is coming from my stash also. Sock yarn. You might get one or two skeins of sock yarn in your bag. Even if, you're, even if it's crochet hooks, there's patterns that are going to be put in these bags. So there's all kind of stuff. Yeah, all kind of stuff. Um... Yeah, so I'm trying to make the packages, you know, smaller, not big boxes, um, shipping. So, and I have had donations to help with shipping, so I appreciate that too. Um, I don't know if people want their names mentioned. I'll get with them because during the birthday uh, bash, I want to thank the people that donated for the celebration. 
I appreciate it very, very, very much. And if they don't want, to, there's one that does want their name mentioned. Uh, that was the person that sponsored all of the, uh, the three mystery yarn bags of 50, the 100, and the 200. Um, the 200 being the big prize on the uh, spinny wheelie thingy for the uh, PayPal donations, which like last year, that all went to pay for shipping for the Potiversary. The Potiversary this August is going to be a big one because it's five years that I've been on YouTube. Hard to believe. Five years. Welcome in, Miss Paula. Welcome in. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, yeah, I <sighs> I could stay in my room all day, to tell you the truth. I wouldn't get anything else done, but I could just stay in here. I'm quite content here knitting and crocheting. Uh, Barb is busy, busy making baby blankets. I found a pattern I gave her. It's a free pattern. It's called the Softest of Cloud Baby Blanket. It's knitted, but it uses almost a mitered uh stitch that's that, that's textured and she loves it and you hold two yarns double whether it's two threes or a four and a three anyways she's made a she's on her third one or fourth one already because we have lots of babies being born here on the island and she loves the pattern so she's enjoying that i think after that she's gonna make some socks um and i'm and i did finish i did finish that one pair of socks i showed it in the whips and and finished objects video i've got to block these on the sock blockers that sissy sis little sis got me for christmas last year you guys have a different background you've got my big um anchor okay christine have a wonderful day dear thank you have a don't work too hard don't work too hard um anybody has any suggestions for the con i mean i know we're playing treasure hunt or scavenger hunt scavenger hunt i think we're doing the scavenger hunt um or treasure hunt bingo i might have a trivia game where i'll have cards and we'll do the um you know that way uh some of the prizes will be given just by randomly you won't know it's happening i'll hit i'll hit nightbot which i've got to get nightbot a little bit um better at using nightbot um and I'll just do a random pick and say, and then I'm going to have, I'm going to have all of the um, prize packs other than the yarn are going to be numbered one through 25. I think there's, I think there's going to be like 25, 25 bags, which will take me a couple weeks to mill everything out. But I think there's going to be 25 prize bags in different sizes. There's the black one. Then there's the next medium one. Um, there will be some yarn. There, don't worry, there'll be some yarn. Um, some of the prize packs will already have the yarn in it with crochet hook or knitting needles. Some are just notion prizes. There'll be um, stitch markers, point protectors, uh, measuring tape, um, cable needles, stitch holders. Um, you don't know, you know, progress keeper slash uh, bag charm. You, some of the ones I make, I've got more cabochon trays coming because I have a bunch of cabochons. They're the bigger cabochons, 20 millimeter, um, to make um, maybe like a large progress keeper or you could put them on your bag or your purse or your wallet or whatever, but they're larger. So it's kind of become my signature of the dragon's eyes that I do. Uh, I'm looking for some... Bigger ones that I can use for progress uh, for uh, bag charms. Um, I've got some pins coming, you know, like knitting pins, crochet pins, stuff like that. Uh, if they're not here for the birthday, they'll be here for the anniversary slash other happy mail. I've got stickers. I've got little cards now. Although it says thank you for, I still put in postcards and stuff for people. But I ordered these. Because they were just nice to put in the bag. It says thank you on it. But I take out for your order. Because these aren't orders. These are. It just says thank you for supporting my small business. Which is not really a business. It's my YouTube channel. But And I can write a little note in the back. Um, there's a couple other. You know. That are, that are non. They're sort of craft related. Like I have the uh, crochet hook stand. Um, I've got. 
like I said, other crafts, whether it be needle punch, um, embroidery, diamond painting, jigsaw puzzle. There are other prizes, so it's not all just, but they're all in a way crafts. So, and when I do, when I go to pick some of these these at random, um, like I said, I'll have to. I'll have like crocheting on one side, knitting on the other side, and I'll tell them to pick a number, and the bags will be numbered, whether it's crochet or knit. If it's if it's either, then I'll just leave. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get everything organized so when 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 that day gets here, everything runs smoothly, and I have everything organized, and it flows. Yeah, that, wishful thinking, right? Um, I'm going to okay. Let me see here. Copy. And there's the link if you would like to come up on panel. Um, I enjoy having people up on panel. A couple reasons. If I have to run to the little girl's room or I have to go put the dogs out to go to the bathroom, you're just not sitting here looking at dead space. Um, some of those yarns here are going to be bagged up for, again, later this this summer we're gonna have another shop to stash sale Does that, i've been wanting to do it and i know some people say well you've been saying yeah i say i'm doing it but it, you know, it that takes a lot of time to bag up the yarn price the yarn list every take the pictures list everything um doing it the way i did it last year having the videos and everything it, that just took too much time okay and welcome little sis hello welcome um so that's uh, one of the things that's, that's, that's on for later this year. Um, if I do any traveling, you know, I always take my video camera with me and record, you know, if I'm traveling or, or doing anything, um, which I'd like to do some <laughs> now that I'm semi-retired. So what is everybody working on? What is in your cup? How's the weather where you're at? Where are you coming from? You know, all the typical questions we always ask you guys. Leftover milk from supper. Well, <laughs> I'm drinking cold coffee right now in my knitting cup. What is it? Time to unwind. If I'll quit spilling my coffee on me. It's cold. Mm. Always gets cold. So that's, so that's, so that's what I've been doing. I'm trying to do is bag up some some stuff it's pretty oh, cloudy see. today I suppose huh we're pretty cloudy today hold on i'm gonna turn my volume up a little bit uh, there we go now I'll try it it's pretty cloudy here today it was it it was raining here coffee and a bunny oh suzanne are you working on one of those sun bunnies or just a bunny I'm I'm getting ready to give me, give me one sec. I'm getting ready to package these up. Cold tea and sorting fabric. Marlene's been pretty busy. Little Brindley needs needs stuff. So these are gonna be <clears throat> these are gonna be some of the kits that are going into prizes. B. So they'll be I'll be sticking them in smaller bags and there'll be something else in with it too you know it's just not going to be the kit it might be some stitch markers might be some other kind of notion there's always a little something in there i gotta put them put these in here oh we got welcome sis nine geez suits you've been busy So 
So have you have you seen any prizes that you might like to uh, to win? Like I said, I'll be at it. I gotta go to the store. Just oh, good for you, Steve. Welcome in, Zoila. Welcome in. And there might be some, I might have a few, like, get, uh, PayPal gift cards or something like that, too. But, but I will tell you that if you're not subscribed, you can participate in the chat and win the prizes. I'm sorry. I make it for subscribers only because they're the ones that have enabled me to grow and be able to do these things so i wanted them to be the ones we've talked about this before i want them to be them to be the ones that win the prizes um just because it's just my way of giving back and saying thank you for sticking with me for all this time all right marlene there you are marlene hi hi, hi. no picture I got a new laptop, so I'm trying to figure everything all out. Go into your settings and look at camera. <laughs> Welcome up. This is Marlene. Marlene is from New Brunswick. And there's Darlene. She's from Nova Wait, Scotia. I had to step away for a moment. No worries. No worries. I'll be stepping away and go get some fresh coffee. Marlene's trying to figure out her new laptop. Oh, nice. Yes. It is. I have two going here at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it it take it takes time. Like I said, I got my new my new debt my new tower, and just getting everything. But it, I will say, I, I've got four laptops, but I love my desk my desktop tower. Whatever you want to call it. No, nope, my iPad is my laptop. I guess. <laughs> Which is my, my tablet's laptop. my tablet's too old. I just play games on it, and I haven't even done that for a while. But, um, so yeah, so that's, you know, I mean, you guys liked the, some of the prizes that, um, uh, I've picked up in the packs I'm putting together. Is it Amazing. something that. Yeah. But it's going to be I'm fun. Glad. I think it's going to be fun. And, Ooh. uh, you know, like I said, I, I want to go to the store. I got to pick up some teas. Now Marlene, Marlene calls me sis. <sighs> Marlene and Bruce, um, Bruce was in the military with Warren, and that goes back to when Warren was 17 years old, and Bruce knew Warren a long time. He hadn't seen him in 30 plus years when they reconnected on, um, they reconnected on Facebook through the uh, Dragoon, uh, uh, Dragoon group. And Marlene had been to the house. That's how we met. She came to the house here with Bruce and another friend of theirs. And it just clicked. I mean, she, I did it in crochet because I had him over for spaghetti dinner. We were eating out on the deck, having a good time. And that's how it all started. Same as Darlene's been here since the beginning with me. And that's how it all started. I said, I've made some wonderful friends because of this channel. IRL and on here. Exactly, Zoila. Exactly. It's a small world. And yeah, I'm, I'm little sis and Marlene is our sis. Yep. And and a lot of times too, this you know, sister. um uh <laughs> Bailey from you know, Bailey uh says she's my big sis because I've never had a big sis. I've always been the oldest. You know, I've always been the big sis. I've I've always been the oldest. I'm I've the always old. been the little young. <laughs> yeah, I'm the old I'm the older one. But it it's it's nice, you know, it's nice. So um it's just family. And this, and if you notice, when I start my videos, I always say uh, fiber family because it is. I don't want to say subscribers because it's more than a subscriber. You're family. Here we're a family. Um, there have been times that we've been there. We support each other. It's the same thing in the in the FB group, the uh, Yarn and Yayas. Exactly, Zoella. In the Yayas, there have been some great friendships made. Um, the Happy Mail Advent has struck up some friendships. Uh, people getting to know each other better and stuff. And that's what this is all about. 
I mean, sh sharing our passion for yarn and, and, and knitting and crocheting and, and just crafting in general, but also to connecting with people from all over the world, different walks of life. It, it's amazing. That's one of the good things about the Internet. It really is. A lot of bad things about the Internet, but that's one of the great things about the Internet. Um, you know, so <laughs> that's what I've tried to promote my uh, this this channel, this to be is a, a place where people can come and not worry about uh, there's no bullying. And I don't I don't discuss or get into discussions about the particular topic of the day or controversial subjects. Just because of that, I want this to be a, a very calm, stress-free place to come. Um, one, I, I, it's easy. Religion, politics, and drama. Everybody has an opinion. Okay, I have no problem saying that I'm a Christian. I don't have any problem. There are people that don't believe, and that's fine too. That's their choice. But uh, so on here, I don't. I don't get into big discussions and stuff like that. I say that for my private chats and stuff like that only because um, it's, a, it's a place I want everybody to be stress-free and everybody to feel welcome. I just don't do the dramas. Zero drama. <laughs> and I, I've actually yeah, had people, yeah. she'll be back. I've actually had people email me back when some controversy was going on and want me to make a video about this particular campaign. I don't, it's not that I don't support or not support, but that's something left to private. That's one of the problems today. There's too much stuff being on, whether it's Instagram or Twitter or um, Twitch or Facebook or whatever, YouTube, whatever. I have YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. That's it. Exact, exactly. Well, Suzanne, we have our second quarter. Um, everybody that's an island yarny, uh, we have a, every quarter we do a live Zoom that we all, it's a private. And you have to be an island yarny, as you can say, thanking island yarnies. <laughs> um, they're my members. And that that's all through um, the Kofi shop. Um, that's where my membership is. Um, they help. What they, the membership that they pay every month, that's what takes care of um, StreamYard. Um, so I try to do something a few times a year for them. Um, I think she just um, is working on her. Yeah, she's working on her, her laptop and stuff, getting getting connected. Yeah. Um, and now that I'm semi-retired, I can... Once I get the, the, my big thing right now, but the stress in my life is getting the store cleaned out. And that's just another my, nightmare, another nightmare coming. It's going to be, our building's not due to be here till the end of the month. Once it's up, then I can get everything cleared out of there and be done with it. But I've got some, some heavy pieces. I got a 500 pound gun safe and an antique vintage mm -hmm. barber chair that are very heavy. Then I have to come out. Many yard sales this summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. I have a giveaway free table, then we have a, a buy table. And we and we donate a lot of stuff too, because there's a lot of stuff. Between Barb and I, we've got a lot of stuff. Some stuff I borrowed from the States almost ten it'll be ten years next year that I've been in Canada. And there are boxes that still have not been unpacked. Wow. Thank you, Zoila. Thank you. Um, that's that that's why I decided to semi retire. Okay. Uh, will I still work on the ferry? Yes, but I'm well, not. When you want to? Yeah, and I'll be I'll be teaching, so I can pay my bills. But I'll also be able to enjoy my life. I mean, I'll be 63. I mean, um, according to the states, the way they're retirement, it used to be 65, but they kept starting upping the age, and my full retirement age is 66 years and 10 months. I think now they're getting ready to go to 70 because people are living longer. Oh, I can hear the girls barking. They're barking at the deer. But um, so that's what, uh, you know, I'll be able to, because I don't need much. I mean, my car and everything will be paid off. Within the next four years, everything will be paid off. All we'll have is the mortgage. 
on the house and our daily bills. And for her, Barb and I, we can handle that. Um, we all know that I have enough yard to last me a lifetime. But um, so that's what I did. Um, that's just it. I, I, I'm going to try, you know, take, take a day trip here and there. Um, I, I really don't like to leave the island. Zoila, well, thank you, dear. Thank you. This here, you know, seriously, um, Warren used to say to me, is that all you want to do is knit crochet? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, my house was clean. My meals were cooked. Shopping was done. The bills were paid. But I'll tell you, I mean, I get out and do my exercise. I go walking and stuff. <laughs> um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Marlene, um, YouTube it. I'm serious. You can you can find so much on YouTube to help you. I, I did it with all of my webcams and setting up stuff on my computer with uh, the programs. There, you can find it on Happy Wife, Happy Life. Exactly, Zoila. Yeah. I had a wonderful husband. He was. It was a very special man. He was one in a million. Um, but one of the things I want to do is um, once a month the RCD meets up in Gagetown. Uh, Warren, you go up there for, for, uh, okay, Suzanne, thank you, dear. You have a wonderful night. Thank you for coming. Have a nice evening. Uh, um, they have a lunch to get together. I had, to, I got a big tickle out of it because I was on the, I was on the Facebook page and, um, I said, oh, I said, I'll have to come up on these times, uh, you know, for Warren. And one of the fellows messaged back and said, well, this is like, I can't promise you there's not going to be some, you know, bad language and this and that. And I, I just messaged back. I said, I said, I drove transport for 30 years. You don't think I haven't heard it all? And he just got a big kick out of it. So I want to go up there and have lunch with them. And I'll be able to see Bruce and Marlene and the other guys. I met some of their guys. I just don't remember their names. I remember their faces. You know, so I, uh, I, I. You keep think be freezing. A good time. Huh? You're, you keep freezing. I'm freezing. Yeah, huh. every now and then they'll freeze. Hmm. Didn't know that. I didn't know that. It just started. Well. Mm, I don't know why it would be freezing. Yeah. Could you have pretty good connection? Yeah. Oh, really? Is it just me that keeps seeing her freeze? Maybe. I don't know. Um, well, I'm going to set my other webcam up. I think I'll probably move it back over here. And then I can switch between cameras. Oh, Obi, stop it. I am going to let Darlene take this for a minute because you hear them barking. I'm going to bring them in the house. Oh. The, the, the youngest one, Kiba, is chewing the spindles on the gate on the deck. Oh, no. So I will be right back. Oh, yeah, you did freeze for a few. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was weird. Like, her connection is pretty darn good. I watched an interesting video today. Um, what's it? Campaign for Yarn Canada. It's a Canadian thing. They had this here gentleman on named um, Joe Bear Jabber. Now, have you ever heard of uh, Milo and Dexter? I guess it's like a, a clothing company. They're, in, they're out of uh, Montreal and they're trying to... Um, it's a... Uh, what they call it, a uh, wool spinner yarn speaker series. So it's to do with like Canadians and they talk about the sheep farms in Canada and trying to have it that we can get, have Canadian made garments in that with 
Canadian sheep and uh, it's just pretty interesting. I I don't remember ever subscribing to them, but apparently I am. And it was like maybe an hour long. I don't know if they have very many videos out there, but it was interesting. And this uh, Jabar, Jabair, he's, a, he's not a very old guy. He may be in his 30s. So, yeah, it was pretty interesting. So, but yeah, it's called Campaign for Wool Dash Canada, if you're ever interested. You can see it's on YouTube. But yeah, I watched that today. It was really good. I'm back. I got some coffee. Very knowledgeable. Do you watch the? Do you uh, uh, follow them? I, I've, I've watched a couple of them. The Campaign for Wolf Canada. Yeah, I've watched it a few times. Yeah, the guy who's from Montreal today, he has um, Milo and Dexter is his company name. Mm, I'll, have to look it, I'll have to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Zoila. Oh, the heathens are outside. They're running back and forth. The deer are out there, so they're barking so at the long deer. So the deer don't bark back. They just look at them like, huh. Oh. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I just have to every once in a while knock on the window because they start biting each other. And Gracie gets a hold of Kiva's neck, and she had a lot of scabs for a while because Gracie was biting a little too hard. And believe me, it's a lot of dog. I mean. Close to 200 pounds of dog between the two. Yeah, and they're the same size, aren't they? Kiva is going to be bigger than Gracie. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Kiva outweighs Gracie right now because Kiva's thicker. Her fur is thicker, but she's got the European golden retriever, which is her father, the father. The mother is what's called a field golden retriever. That's the darker strawberry gold, like a reddish gold, mm -hmm. where Kiva's blonde. And yeah, that's one me. nice way to know which one's which, the color. Yeah, well, Kiva's eyes are almost ebony, like two black buttons, and Gracie's are more of a, um, like, the dark brown. But when you look into Kiva's eyes, there's nothing there. There's nothing going on upstairs. Nothing. She's blank. <laughs> can they fetch? They can, but they're, uh, golden retrievers are very stubborn. They're very stubborn. But they're good dogs. They're good girls. Just you know, a lot of fur, a lot of hair, but you know, accept it. I mean, it's just part of having the girls. Mm -hmm. um, when I had Bella and Valeria, one was a uh, whippet husky and the other one was a pit bull. I had hair, but nowhere near what I have with these two. Oh, they just sit there and wag their tail and you can just see it. That's why when anybody ever gets a package, <laughs> you mm -hmm. might find dog hair in the tape or something like that. I try to make sure I don't get it in there. That's why they're I keep them mostly off limits in my craft room, but they'll come in sometimes and they'll lay on the floor and just be quiet while I'm, whether I'm doing a video or answering emails, you know, or just working in here. Um, they can be, you know, but they're good company. They are. They're, they're, they're great. I, I imagine it's the last two dogs that I'll have in my lifetime. I, it's too hard. You know, I had Bella and Valeria, Bella not, uh, 13 years and Valeria for nine years. So, so is there any more freezing going on? Yeah, I, had, I saw it again. Since you've been back. I'm, well, I'm looking at at what my... Uh, do, 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 do. I'm just live here. It's not showing my signal. Let For a minute, there, yeah, there's my signal. My signal, there's a storm coming in. We're under yeah. high wind warnings again. So I do apologize if I'm freezing. Hey, compared to the old old days oh when I was doing... Oh, we could hardly see you sometimes. Yeah, when, when we had just a, we we had before we had Starlink, uh, doing a live was almost impossible. It was it was more frustrating than anything. <laughs> more frustrating than anything. Um, does everybody here that's in the chat knit and crochet, knit and or crochet? I do. And Tunisian. Yep, Tunisian and um, mm. broomstick more than you. Broomstick. Uh, brioche is on my Stephen West. I just saw. I saw his video. Okay, Zoila, it's the weather coming in. It's the weather. Yeah. And which we can't help because it's satellite. It might be searching and with a storm coming in, which doesn't happen very often. So it it must be a bad storm coming in. Yeehaw! We still don't have our generator hooked up. I think you're 
I think it said you're getting uh, between 15 and 20 millimeters. I think that's what it said. And we're getting 25 to 30. Hey. Yeah, we had the high winds too. One of our one of the ferries was down again. The princess. Um, our ferries have been going taking turns going down. It's just something you accept living on an island. I, I don't have a problem with it. I don't get too too wound up. Yeah, it, my, my signal's coming. My signal's coming up here. Mm -hmm. Connection is unstable. The thing is, I am on Wi Fi. So I've got to reprogram my booster. Starlink, I got, and that's what it is. It's unstable because of the weather. Um, it may very well be. Um, I got my Wi-Fi booster. Well, let me see something for a minute. With my computer, there is a Wi-Fi thing here, so maybe that's because it's under the table. Maybe that's it. I'll I'll hang it out here for now. I'll stick it up there. I've got a monitor there. We'll stick it up there. See how it does. Um. Oh, that little little um. The little box, box, yeah. Box. Yeah. Okay. That's the Wi-Fi. So I may have to uh, get with uh, Dell and see if there's if I have to boost settings or change because there is a way you go in and change settings for this computer. But it's I mean some of it's above my pay grade. I've got to get with somebody that knows, what they're doing. knows computers. I said I'm just self-taught. I am self-taught. But nope, I just wanted to come on and you know I said I'm gonna work on some stitch markers, make these sets up of stitch markers, these my signature, the nautical themes. I actually got some clothes today I'd ordered from Hebrew for summer. So I, I I don't have a lot of summer clothes, but also that I had something decent to wear for teaching where I wasn't wearing long pants and long sleeve shirts. So I got oh, something I can wear summer, to, yeah. Yeah, and I got some dress, a couple dresses. They're all nautical themed. Anchors on the pants and the shirts. And <laughs> yesterday, I took the brother-in-law to uh, Giant Tiger, and he got a couple of fits. Just laughing, pants and some t-shirts, just something for around the house. Yes, it can be. I've got, I think, four orders coming still, but a lot of stuff too. I I get for uh, prizes and stuff to add into like notion bags. I get, they have some unusual things like the, I got the brooches. From Timu, they had some, some really unusual brooches slash, you know, shaw pins, whatever we're going to use them for. And I thought that would be nice um, because I'm making up, you know, these bags here that I can ship. Because I can ship 10 of these, you know, a lot cheaper than, uh, depending on where they're going to. But they're bubbled and they're small. Yeah. But I can put, you know, some stitch markers, uh brooch in here you know other notions maybe yeah i'm gonna get i gotta go to the store and get and some more teeth. huh it's bubbled yeah. yeah these ones aren't these green ones aren't that's why i'm double double bagging like i put everything into a, a bag and then it goes into that bag for shipping i actually have one now it's on its way to the uk i didn't even message the person if they have a bag coming their way let it be a surprise mm -hmm. Let it be a surprise because when I have a lot of packages I'm going to be mailing out, I'll spread them out over a couple of weeks. You know, I'll send a bunch oh, yes. out. You know, the cost would be too much. You know, so well that's why we're doing the um, spinny wheely thingy for that's shipping, and that's the two hundred dollar box. Now, if we don't get to a certain level on that wheel, then that box is going to be held over till the anniversary, mm. and then we probably add to it. I'll have to talk to the person that donated if that if that's acceptable. If we don't get to a certain, because I think last year I put um, two hundred dollars Canadian dollars on the wheel to get to that, and if we got to the two hundred dollars, then the big two hundred dollar box will go, and we got to another level. You know, there'd be an additional prize. I forget what it was last year. I think it was gift card or something. The bod did. drive. Yeah. Oh yeah, the bod drive too. That's I forgot. That's another another uh, prize. This is I bought it. I got it from her Etsy store, and uh, it comes via email in a uh, zip file. And what I did was I downloaded it and I put it onto a thumb drive to go to somebody. And there's over 350 patterns. 
on here. Because that was a big popular, I mean, I, I started giving those away four years ago. And those were very much sought after mm. quad drives. You know, but I try to do, I try to give prizes that people would like. Um, I don't, I don't do the big, as many gift ways as I used to, because in the last couple of years, the shipping's just kept going up and up and up. So, um, no, no, Zorla, it, it could be, but I don't. I purchase, I have receipts. I purchase, um, I gifted couple of my island yarnies got them as their welcome gift or Christmas gift or something. And I just send an email to them with the uh, downloadable file. And I purchase another one from Crystal there. When they go on sale, I'll purchase one. Yeah. I don't because because to me that's that would be that would be stealing. Yes. And I mean that's part of how she makes her living. And just like uh, Courtney, um from Firefox Studios to his, would donate patterns for uh, prizes. And I have a lot of her patterns, some bought, some gifts. She's gifted me a lot, and I buy them, and I get fussed at for buying them. But I said it's a way of supporting the small business, which is what I try to do. Um, I've looked at some of the hand-dyed yarn that some of the creators are doing. I just can't pay that for yarn. I just My can't. beautiful stuff. You know, beautiful um, stuff. I ordered some bougie yarn for the for the birthday bash, and it's in you know it's in the bags. Um, I the, the bougie yarn I have is only two little cubicles on my yarn rack that's over here. Yes, it can, Zoila. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. And um, like I said, I I have some people don't watch Crystal. I I like to watch Crystal. I live vicariously through her for the bougie. Welcome in, Nisi. Welcome in. Um, I live vicariously through her unboxings on all the bougie yarn. It's, I watch people's unboxing, and it's my way of just, you know, living vicariously through them. <laughs> and it's, now, there have been a few times that somebody has unboxed something that, um, and one of them I just recently showed. Uh, because there's going to be two skeins given away during the birthday celebration, and that is the Red Heart All-in-One Granny. I've got two colorways, and one of each is each one is going to be given in the crochet prize bag. Uh, you won't know what you're getting. Like I said, you pick a number. You're not going to know what's in your bag. It's going to be a surprise. So it's kind of like a mystery along. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going to be mystery. I mean, I'm showing the prizes, so you have an idea of what you could possibly win. And I just put the bags together. They'll be numbered. And either, you know, I think last year we did envelopes. This year, um, it'll be a number. Bags numbered, I'll say pick a number between. Yeah, exactly, Marlene, exactly. Um, and I'll just have them pick a number. I'll say knit or crochet, and I'll say pick a number, and then I'll take that number of the bag off of the uh, list. And that's how I'm going to do it. I think that's the fairest way to do it. There's no picking. Oh, I'll take this and I'll take. It's a mystery. The only thing, the only ones that will be knowing what they're getting as far as is the $1,500 and the $200 mystery yarn bags, the central knitting machine, the bod flash drive. Um, Suzanne is donating uh, crochet hooks. I think she has a knitting set that she's also donating. I may possibly be putting, I don't know if this is going to go for the pot of birch. I might put this in. I'm not sure yet. I might put this in. Depending on how many prizes you have. and Exactly. The twist and lock, that's a possibility. That's what those are called, twist and lock? It's Susan Bates twist and lock. Um, so that may be, and, and a lot, and because I have to put value on these gifts when I ship to people. Um and there are some countries that I ship to that I have to be very careful because if not, they're paying duty as much duty as, you know, I mean, I've, I've actually had it happen where they had to fight because they were the, their, their, their customs people were saying, no, you bought this. And it was a gift. It clearly states when I ever send something, it's a gift. It's mm. a gift. You know, um, 
because I don't want people paying dues. The government's getting enough money. Oh, We're not going to go there. It's not that kind of channel. They, exactly. But <laughs> um, right now my craft, my craft room was clean. Um, my table literally wraps this way and goes all the way across there now because that's where the, the, the tutorial is. And I have a little little that little one that I put together under here. It's under my desk right now. Hello, Janet. Welcome in, Janet. Oh, well, I'm glad you made it, Janet. Welcome mm -hmm. in. We've just been talking a lot about the birthday bash that's coming up. And I I'm gonna I have to do a promotional video to put up to remind everybody when we decide the time. Yeah, because it's and on a Sunday. It's on a Sunday, exactly. <laughs> and it's I on a Sunday. That morning. Well, I, I'm trying to think of doing two, three hour sessions. Do so that way like do one in the evening. And one in the morning, like morning, early afternoon. Like you get back what at eleven? Between eleven thirty and twelve, we're usually back. Yeah, do like twelve to three, and then come on back on from like seven to ten. That way, people from across the pond, you know, can can participate. They'll get in the morning one, and then, and then everybody else can do the seven to ten. Because I want to make sure, you know, that everybody has a chance to win the prizes. Because it's a subscriber-only uh, chat. So that way I know the people that are in the chat are subscribers. And to yeah. uh, April 28th. April 28th, that is my mother, my late mother's birthday. Mine's the 17th, which is this coming Wednesday. I'll be at poker. And... Um, and they better let you win the pot. Last time I did, I won on my birthday. I did win. It just it just worked out that way. Although we do in, we do indulge in adult beverages on birthdays. I'm not gonna say much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Johnny G and I were drinking sourpuss blue raspberry. <laughs> I had four double shots and was fine. What, it what tastes like of, I don't know liquor. Sourpuss is um, blue raspberry. It's sour. It's good. Pretty blue. Oh, the prettiest shade of blue. Pretty shade of blue. But um, we're just working out the times, Janet. I Like I said, I have people that are unable to attend because of the time zone that they're in. Oh, fellow Aries, when, when's your birthday, Janet? I know my granddaughter's is the 14th, mine's the 17th, and mom's is the 28th. My mother my great would be the 19th. 19th? Can you hear the mouth? Oh, yeah. So, and again, I'll have for the for the birthdays, there'll be replay prizes, you know, for people in the replay that watch the replay that we're un unable to make either session still working on games yes and, we have to get um, together yep get together with the games i don't have my other light on over there so that's why it's, it's dark here i don't have the other light on i don't know how people use these ring lights it's very bright on the eyes okay you're march 26 well you just had your birthday well happy oh. happy birthday belated birthday Yes, happy I'll be right birthday. back. I gotta go check on the girls and see if I let them okay. in the house. Hold on. Wow, in the 18th. Hmm. A lot of birthdays. My family, it's all October. A lot of October babies in my family. But it's a big year for me. I'll be the big 6-0. I'm a dragon. I'm looking down here because I can see the... Um, on my phone, I have the... Uh, my uh, phone so I can see. The 30th of October or uh, of April? Yeah, my mother was the only Aries in my family. 
Yeah, but when you get closer to the end, isn't it Taurus? Okay, I'm back. I think it's Taurus near the end of April, isn't it? Taurus. Excuse me? What? Taurus. Taurus. I thought it was Taurus. You got the Newfoundland that or Nova Scotia accent. I don't have an accent. Yeah. Oh, and there'll be some. There's going to be some of Lisa at Ladybird Love Stitch Markers that are going to be mm -hmm. in for prizes. I wonder if she's lurking. Oh, she may be. Exactly, just numbers. I uh. I'm going to be 63. What's 63 supposed to feel like? Hmm. I don't, other than the gray hair and the, the wrinkles, they all tell a story. Um, welcome in, Tammy. Welcome in, dear. Good to see you too, dear. Yeah, they are just numbers because, well, I remember when I was like a teenager or whatever, you thought somebody in the 30s was ancient. I didn't, and then like here we are, our age, and it's like my brain does not think I'm as this old. Exactly. My it's body old. does. Well, our but body the brain well, doesn't. A body is like a car; things wear out. Ooh. Exactly, Marlene. Exactly. Yep. Almost sixty and. I just have a few highlights. Exactly. So. Okay, I'm going to make these ones knitting stitch markers. Yeah, my brain feels pretty good. <laughs> you know, it, we get one life. Enjoy it. I do not. I do not. Um, I don't deal with any dramas. Oh, Tammy, Mrs. C was looking for you the other day. Did she catch up with you? What I'm doing, sitting here, I'm doing is I am making the first set of stitch markers. These are these are knitting stitch markers that got to go into that sock bag I did. I so did I get this far on the new socks. Oh, <laughs> I haven't. I just finished. I'm trying to get the few that I have. My next pair of socks are going to be these. Yep, I have those in my queue because I want to do cables. So I thought. I thought the color was, was pretty good. Yeah, it is. I'll write up my color palette. Yeah. But yeah, I know it's like some, I, I need to get more socks because the, um, my store-bought ones yeah. ha has the, um, that little seam going across and they're starting to really irritate my tootsies. Well, like I showed on the other ones, the rounded toe, there's no Kitchener stitch. I there's like no the Kitchener stitch. Well, these ones here, there's no, there's no seam at the top, no seam. Okay, show it again. Go, go. Can you go big and show it? Yeah. So I can see better. Oh, socks oh. are actually not too, not too bad. They're pretty good. Okay, these. This is the, and I had the patterns real easy to do, but this is. What the rounded toe looks like. There's no seam. Okay, I might try those next time. It's really easy. It was a free pattern. I'll I'll send it to you. Okay. Um, it's not that I don't mind Kitchener. I just I don't I don't mind Kitchener stitch. But if I can get away with that, and not having kit because I'm I mean, it just doesn't come out all the time nice. But you also when you did that, um. Were you, you were using DPNs? You have to do, you use DPNs when you get down so far because of the, uh, there's just too many stitches. There's not, there's too, there's 
two little stitches for the um, no. size needle. Now you can do magic loop. Nope, not a toes. All right, so these are done. Yeah, I don't mind the Kitchener. But you know me and DPNs. Steve, that is um, Hirschner's Soulful Stripes. I don't even know if they have it anymore. I got on such a. So let me go. Uh, I'll show you this real quick. So here, here's a set of stitch markers, knitting stitch markers. They're going to go in that. Um, that blue and white one reminds me of the Nova Scotia flag. Yep. So there's a, a, a buoy or life ring, a sailboat, an anchor, a lighthouse, and a ship's, steer, a ship's wheel. But yeah, it's um, that's what I used. So those will go back into the bag. And they'll go into that sock bag I did. Yeah, those are nice. So this prize bag is done. So this is like... Everything you need to knit a pair of socks. Oh, nice. So I'm putting stuff together like that with uh, the patterns. And let me go back here. Here we go. Uh, that's some of the other prize packs. Yeah, Steve, I really like the um, the Hirschner's Soulful Stripes, but I have got a lot of sock yarn. A lot. Because I get it when it's not like... Some of the prizes are this. I had got these. These match perfectly match socks. Duo socks. This is from Hershner's too. It's Willow Yarns. Really great colors. So there's a couple more of those. And then there's. And these are just the prize packs that are in for the birthday. I'm not counting my sock yarn that I'll be putting in some, some, some prizes. This is from Hobie. You can make like two. Like one of these will make a pair of footies. These are the happy toes and silly socks flower pop. Um, merino wool, nylon. Um, that's gonna be another that's gonna be, in, that's gonna be in one of the yarn bags. But I I've got a lot of different sock yarn. Mary Maxim. I get Mary Maxim sock yarn. Um, she has DK weight. It says number two, but it's actually number three. And I've made some socks with those. They knit up fast. They're it's great yarn to work with. Um, yeah, she has a band. Peyton. Peyton Peyton Croy socks. Yep, I've got Peyton. Uh, um, hold on a second. I don't know if I can reach it or not. Oh, we can see you. Yeah, he, yeah he's following me. You need a little step stool there. I have it. It's it's over near the side of the room. So you see my messy shelf there. Um, these are two two. Hi, Mama G. Welcome in, Mama G. Welcome in. She said we're twins because our hair is the same, straight and bangs. Except hers mm -hmm. is purple. Um, this is a nice yarn. I don't know if Mary Maxim has this anymore. It's bamboo stripes. It's a um, oh, what's it say? Superwash, nylon, and bamboo. And then this is, the, Steve, this is the one I used on those ones I was, this is Soulful Stripes. I apologize. The one that was used in the socks that I showed, I got that in a Aberdeen's <coughs> mystery bag. And it was KFC, Organic Wool Sock Yarn. But it feels, it's just more, it's just merino and, and nylon. A lot of people can't, they say they're allergic to wool. It's not that they're allergic to it, they're sensitive to it. Um, sock yarn, like I, I, I make uh, work socks out of Briggs and Little Tuffy. 
wool nylon blend. That's some tough yarn. That is that is that is a rustic yarn. But once I wash it and block it, it softens right up. But it's tough. It wears like iron. Um, the other, and it's a it's a it's a uh, worsted weight sock yarn, so they knit up fast. I'm actually knitting a pair now out of it. Let me stop this here from following me. So, what was that yarn you were wondering if they still have? What? What was that yarn that you were sit you were wondering if Mary Maxim still has? The bamboo stripes. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It's a sock yarn. Yes. Yeah, no. They don't have it. Okay, Mama G. Th this sock here, this is a commission that I'm doing for somebody. This is Briggs and Little. And I'm doing it on DPNs. Now, this is a number four sock yarn, and it is wool, okay? It is wool, and it's a pair of socks, and the pattern, this is a pattern that's been around for 100 plus years. Exactly, Steve. It's the dye rather than the fiber. This has been around forever. It's heavy sock pattern, Briggs and Little. Their pattern, they do it on three DPNs. I do it on four. This pattern is a standard pattern here on the island. Or you could probably do it on Magic Loop. Huh? You could probably also do it on Magic Loop. Yeah, you can. Um, this on Magic Loop, though, you do get ladders because it's such a thick yarn. I mean, this is this is a thick sock. If you look this way. It's, it's all... pretty blue. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the color. Um, I think it's blue tweed. But I'm making this for uh, one of the guys I play cards with. One, thirty bucks. I told him thirty bucks pair of socks. Um, the yarn I bought when it was like three fifty a skein. Now it's like five fifty a skein, um, and it's rustic. It, it is rustic, but it's it's if it, for work and keeping your feet warm and dry. And here's the thing: wool also keeps you cool in the summer. Let me throw this in here. Hey, I know that bag. Yeah. I'm just trying to get some. Um, a couple other sock yarns I have. I've got some patents and stuff like that. Um, Hobie has some nice. Sock yarn. This is the rainbow four ply sock wool. This is number one. And you can see the halo on it. But it's nice. It's a merino. Um, designed in Denmark. Made in Turkey. Um, it's virgin wool. And 25% polyamide. Okay. And it, it, it'll make a nice pair of socks. And you can I can feel the merino wool in it. But it's not a, a, a rough wool. It's just you can feel it. You can feel it. This is, um, I've got quite a bit of this because when they had it on, on sale, I went a little crazy. <laughs> I'm very crazy. I think I bought like 18 skeins. Um, this is Willow Yarns, which is a sister company to Hirschner's, and it's called Verbena. And, but the colors were absolutely stunning. That's for socks? Yes, this is socks. Oh, wow. This is 75% superwash, 25% nylon. This color is rose bush. That's beautiful. I've got a bunch up there. Yeah, colors. Um, again, you can feel the merino. When you when you make your socks, they're squishy. They're squishy. And I've got quite a few people that got converted in their sock knitters now. Oh. I may be able to tell you what that yarn was I made those socks out of. This, uh, These are some ball bands. I, I don't have all the ball bands I used. <clears throat> yes, when I'm done this here, one project I'm doing, I'm going to put another set of socks. Those socks, the Frosty Meadow. Yeah, I don't have... Uh,
I'll just pop it on there. Put it with my rest of my mess. I'll just clean up. Um, so I'm just going to be working this evening. Actually, after I finish this, I'm going to go get something to eat. No, Steve, I haven't used Rico Sock Yarn. It's, uh, it's expensive. I've seen it, but I wait for it to go on sale. Um, that's how I buy my yarn, on sale. Um, I will tell you, I have two Fiona jars from Aberdeen's wool. And then uh, Darlene and I did the Half Mail Advent last year, which we did mini skeins. The crazy sock lady, um, Kay, Kay Litton, I think is her name, has a pattern for scrappy socks. You take mini skeins and you stripe your socks. Oh. Yeah. So that's one of the things I may do with my, you know, pull so many skeins out to have like, you know, a fade or, or what have you and do that with some of my mini skeins. Also, mini skeins, you can use them as um, heel, toe, and cuff contrast. You know, one thing I don't have a lot of is solid colored sock yarn. I, I, I agree, Steve. They have some phenomenal um, colorways. But I will tell you, Peyton's, Hobie, Mary Maxim, um, even Michael's, uh, Aberdeen's. I watch for the sales. That's how I bought all my yarn. That's why I've given so much of it away because for what I paid for it and what it cost me to ship, you know, it's 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 worth it. Um, there are uh, there's a podcaster I watch. Uh, she's Canadian. <clears throat> it's Wildflower Wool. It was also the Fiber Friends. They it's a, there are several podcasts associated with this person, and she has a new make new start Monday, and she does something new. And she's doing socks right now. We just picked cables, a cable pattern or a lace pattern. And she shows a lot of the sock wool. A lot of her sock wool is vintage. <laughs> she's added like 15 years in her stash. Yeah. Um, up here, for a long time, all they had was Briggs and Little. So it was the worsted weight coffee wool. You can do it. You, you can use the next one up as heritage, but there's no nylon in it. And what nylon does is it gives strength. Yeah, and, the and a little bit of a stretch too, doesn't it? Exactly. The two toughest heels, or I, I guess the two toughest heels, in my opinion, are the partridge and the flap heel and gusset. They're 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 a um, a tough heel because the heel is one of the first places that the socks wear out. Mm. Heel. I have a darning mushroom. I have fixed uh, socks, darned them, wool socks. I did it for a client of mine. God rest his soul. That's why he says. Do you know how to fix these? And he gave them to me. I said, no, but I guess I'll learn. So I got a darning mm -hmm. mushroom. Yes, you can. And I've looked into that. Um, and you can get oh. some, the nylon from Amazon. Um, even with the nylon in the wool, you can add additional nylon just in the heel section. And it'll it'll give it the extra strength that you need. Because like a lot of these socks made out of the Briggs and Little are fishermen. They wear the socks year round because in the summertime it keeps their feet cool and dry, and in the wintertime it keeps them warm and dry. That's the beauty about wool; it's a year round. Um, I'm I have a um, a top that I'm going to do in minis, and they're all superwash wool. I I wool you can wear in the summertime; it keeps you cool. It's just it's just one of the things of the of one of the um, characteristics of the fiber. I'm a nerd. I, I when I since I got back into knitting and crocheting back in eighteen, um, I've been learning. I like to learn statistics and stuff like that. I I research, you know, how different uh, how different fibers react. Exactly. Well, Steve, like I work, like I wear, I was wear, when I worked the ferry. I have work boots on. First place my socks wore out were in the heel. And then you know, it's like the ball of your foot. Yeah, right. It's it's where the pressure points. And you can tell, actually, if you want to know if the pressure is distributed evenly on your foot, look at the bottom of your socks and see if there's wear spots. And that will show you when you're walking where the most pressure is on your foot. Oh, are you? Yeah. Walking something I need to start doing, going for walks. The weather's getting nice. I'll be able to go with the dogs. Yes, I mean, now that we have somebody down in the basement, I'm, well, we have until the 15th of May 
to maybe go for a couple walks. Because once the 15th of May hits, you got the black flies until July 15th. Yeah, there that's one of the bad things. <laughs> black flies. Yeah. But um yeah, so so anybody that's just come in, what we've been doing uh this live is I have been show I was showing some of the stuff as I was bagging up for the birthday bash, which is on the 28th. Time the times will be announced. The video will go out next week. What the times are. Um, and just showing some of the prizes, you know, that you could that you'll be eligible to win. And we're talking about some of the games we're going to be playing and and stuff like that. Ooh, Steve, that's ooh, yeah. You, I would definitely put extra nylon in. But I'll tell you, there's not, there is no better feeling than wearing a pair of hand knit socks. There isn't. They feel oh, so good they, on your feet. Yes, they feel so nice. And that's I only have two pair. I need to make more. Personally, I have to do get a petty done because from wearing my work boots, it creates calluses on your feet. And I get the old cheese grater out and get in the shower and give myself oh. a petty. But um, I haven't been for a pedicure for a couple of years. I was today and I got my nails done too. Very nice. My nails are my nails. Mine are well, mine. Are my are mine. They just put stuff on top of it. Yep. I haven't done anything with mine. But so does anybody have any questions? And if you have any suggestions, when this goes to replay, please feel free to put them in the comments for uh, game ideas and stuff for the uh, birthday bash. Um, because, um, like I said, I, I've got a few games. We've got a few games picked out already. But like I said, two, three-hour sessions, that's six hours. Got to have to play some games because there's going to be a lot of prizes to give away. And um, you know, a lot and of fun Lisa, stuff. With Lisa, I only done two different games i think the next one is going to be the pictionary type thing yeah pictionary so we're going so we're and i want to be able to do games that everybody can participate in um but no i'm, I'm i wasn't going to even celebrate my birthday but a certain person who was anonymous said oh no we're going to celebrate so that's what we're doing we're celebrating <laughs> Celebrating sixty three, it's 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 chance to, it's it's an excuse to have a uh, have have some uh, giveaways, fun. giftaways, huh? And fun. Yep, have some giftaways, have some fun, have some laughs. Hey, and some it's fun your birthday. birthday. Well, Wednesday. Yeah, birthday, well, but well, it's mom's birthday. Mom, mom would have been uh, eighty eight. There's twenty five years and eleven days between us. Mom would have been eight. She was born in thirty six. I was born in sixty one. So okay. there was. Uh, 25 years and 11 days between us. And it's also National Pet Parents Day. <laughs> but hopefully the next time, as I said, uh, tomorrow I've got to work on the video tutorial that I had put up and I just I just unlisted it to see what happened. Because next week we're doing, I, I show that we're going to be doing the Golden Coins dishcloth, which has got cable in it, got a two-stitch cable. Oh. Exactly, Steve, the inclusivity. That's what I want to do. Um, and I know people get mad when I say subscribers only, but you know what? Fiber family members are the ones that have grown my channel. Well, they, they matter. They're your family. They're, it's, <clears throat> they're the ones that should <clears throat> to share. It's this. my way. It's my way of, of telling them, Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And, um, because I don't do as many gift as I used to, again, I used to do a lot of gift -aways. Um, mm. and I just recently last year was the first time I ever had it subscriber only on the chats when I do lives. That's the first time I did it because in the past, um, I literally would have people subscribe and then unsubscribe after the gift away. And I've always called mine gift aways because to me, it, it's, um, it, it's my gift to you, not giveaway, uh, gift away. It's mine. I'm weird. Okay. I'm different. Well, plus I'm a special a child. You'd have all these trolls coming in. That's why I don't. I and a lot of c content creators <laughs> have gone that route of not putting it in the title or you know, um, again too on the comments. And I I stated, oh really? <laughs> um, <laughs> it can be. It, it can be. It can, that's why it's great when you have people on panel. Then everybody can get a break to go tinkle and do all that good stuff, fill up their cup or whatever. Um, 
that's why I put in the rules that if you use the word gift away, give away prizes in your comment, it disqualifies you because people look, they put the keyword in prize, giveaway, um, and stuff like that into search, and it will search across the YouTube platform for all of that. And they only go to those. And, and again, I've seen people that have win, that have won, that didn't even knit or crochet or stuff like that. Well, you know, that's why I do it the way I do it. So people are winning the prizes that I'm giving away because they do knit, they do crochet, you know, they do all this embroider, whatever that we're doing. Yeah. Um, because you figure I'm paying for the shipping and I'm going to ship it to somebody that doesn't even, they'll either, either resell it or give it away to somebody because it was free to them, but I paid the shipping. Nah. Nope. Don't have it that <laughs> way. Uh, Steve, actually I put up on the community tab. I put a post, um, about that, that they had to be subscribed for a week or I have so? back at the post, huh? I think it's a week or so. Two weeks or something like that. Two weeks. They have to be, be uh, because it had given so much advance notice. I think there was a, back early March, mid-March. Actually, it was early March, late February that um, I announced this. And I did put a post onto the community tab about that and i i think i stated in the video also but i'll restate it because i'll do a, a prequel video uh before it uh, giving the final time the date the times and stuff like that and i i type up all my rules and put them in exactly steve that's why i put it, it yeah. it's got to be more than 24 hours uh you have to be i think it's two weeks two, two weeks, weeks i think is reasonable you know um and I pay attention, though, too, because uh, I, I pay attention. I wish there was a way that I was able to download to a spreadsheet from YouTube Studio, my subscriber list. Um, but I haven't been able to find a way yet to put it into a spreadsheet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Steve, it, it's happened. I, 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 I did it, I think, I only think I did it one year, maybe two years. I did the Christmas in July fairies three or four years ago. Okay. And I gained like 600 subscribers and within 24 hours gone. So that's yeah. why I don't do, I don't do the Christmas in July fairies or anything like that anymore. I do enough on my own. Um, and I think I try to, I do a little something for Christmas. I do, I do my birthday, the pot anniversary. And a lot of times I'm having a live randomly. I'll just go to Nightbot when I have Nightbot working. I don't have Nightbot. I don't have Nightbot working tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll do a draw. People won't even know. And you'll see it pop up in the chat. So and so is one, you know. And then I, whether it's something small, a crochet hook, a gift card, a pattern, something like that, I I do just random things only because I say, hey, thank you, you know. Now I don't have subscriber only chat going here. It will be for the birthday celebration. Um, and the thing is, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to somebody. Um, no, only to be able and, to. And the thing is, let me put it this way. The thing is, I have been trying to get to the 3,000 watch hours. I'm at 2111 right now. Only because I can use, I members can do, uh, members can do the, emo they get, you get the funny emojis and stuff that are just strictly for the channel. So I like to go and design stuff that's nautical, a whale, a lighthouse, um, you know, uh, anchors and stuff like that that have to do with my channel. Um, because my channel, it really, because I live on an island, and that's what my channel is about. It's knitting and crocheting and life on a small island. And it is a small island. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's 21 square miles, three miles across, seven miles long, and 850 people. But it's a beautiful it's, island, also. It I is. Know. It's a it's a, it's a wonderful place to live. Um, so that's why a, my, a lot of my things are nautical. Um, I believe in a former life I was a fish because <laughs> I I have a connection with the water. 
I have a connection with the water. My color palette is the ocean palette. And you're looking at a girl that her favorite colors used to be pink and purple. You know, pink, purple, and white were some of my favorite colors. But I, I love all colors, but my color palette of choice is colors of the ocean. Uh, you say you like all colors. I have a mug you said you don't care for. Which one's that? That, that green one. I have a green mug you said you don't really care for that color. Oh, or it's not my bedroom upstairs. It I didn't say that. It's not my favorite color. No. Okay. I hear a high pitched point. So do I. Is that on your end? No idea. No idea. Um no, I <clears throat> hey. Everybody send Lisa a National Pink Day message. <laughs> She'll love us for that. Yeah. Wait till she... And, and well, we'll say, this is from Steve. If she's lurking here, then she'll... The package I sent off was to her. That's what I figured. And, there, and I, will, I will tell you, there is one pink thing in there. I tried oh, to get I another... I think I know what it is. You know, I should, Sis knows what it is. She saw it, but it was the only color it came in. So it's just a little whatnot package I sent her. Yeah, but she doesn't so, collect uh, it. No, but um, <clears throat> you know it, it's a uh, yeah national pink day. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll send her a message tomorrow morning for morning moans. Uh, yeah, put it mo yeah. pink emojis and then say International Pink Day. Steve told us it's International Pink Day. Here you yes. go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh he's gonna shoot me yeah but so i'm gonna i'm gonna start getting ready to wrap this up i've been on an hour and a half and i have to uh get some of this stuff cleaned up in here because i've got to film that tutorial tutorial tomorrow for the broomstick cow and go back on and see what's going on with the um what happened to the the, the clips Hi, Nisi. Hi, Nisi. But thank you, everybody, for coming. I so appreciate it. And there'll be more lives. Sometimes I sometimes I try to schedule a live, but sometimes I have a pop-up live. Be mm. spontaneous. Yeah. Don't always plan everything. Don't always. Yeah, see, this is she's not moving now, so I'm sitting here. Because somebody may, said they got nauseous. They had to watch if it got nauseous watching <laughs> the panning of no, the. No. Uh, go ahead. Of the no, go ahead. Maybe. I find when Lisa does her morning moans or whatever, and she's walking and the camera's moving, that's the motion I can't watch because I will get sick. Well, I, 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 I can lock Obi in place. The only time I'll let Obi roam is if I'm doing something like over there so it can follow me over to the yarn or something like that. Yeah, which is and pretty cool. I can put it. Okay, okay Marlene. Maybe. Maybe I can get with you the next couple of days and we can do a Zoom thing. Yeah. All right, everybody. Remember, hope you're staying safe. You're staying healthy. You're happy. Doing what it is that makes you happy. Hug smiles and happiness. Pass it on each and every day. It's free. Make the world a better place. Blessings to you all. And thank you again for sharing this time with Darlene and I and everybody here. I love you all. If you watch the replay. Same goes to you, too. I'll see you guys. Love you, too, Mama G. I'll see Love you, you guys. Sis. Love you, too, little sis. I'll see you guys in the next live, the next video. Who knows? Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.